Because we're going to lose our little toe apparently over time. <laughs> Everyone laughs, lad. It's a bad lad. Say it, shit up, lad. No, but we're going to lose our little toe because we don't need to swing from teas anymore. Like, the real... Do you know what? Forget about it. If you don't want to hear pure facts, you know what I mean? Hello, you beautiful people. Listen, if you enjoy watching our podcast, we are on Patreon. And that's patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. You get to see a lot more of us and obviously your help and support us in what we're doing. Matty, what can they expect on the Patreon? And if you just don't want to wait for the release of the public episode, you get early access to all public episodes at least 48 hours before. And not only that, not only that, you can get a minimum of two exclusive Patreon episodes a month. Obviously, if we've got the time available, we'll throw a third and a fourth in. But don't get fucking greedy, all right? Don't be getting greedy. Yeah. Also, already on there, in the back catalogue, there's a few Peyton specials where the lads gone out with cameras. We've had a laugh. We've gone to Ninja Warrior where I folded Bobby in half. We went to the driving range where Danny deep throws with the fucking three wood and was in bits. <laughs> it was fantastic. What else, Dan? Yeah, so the Patreon, basically, as Bobby said earlier, it's another way for you to support us in what we're doing, more so than you already do. But it's an easier way for you to get in touch with us as well. So if you want to have some input in the content that's getting produced on the Patreon, you subscribe to the Patreon and you can message us directly on there and one of us four will see it. We will respond and we'll take what you're saying into account. You're getting the backlog of the specials that are already there and there's going to be at least one a month coming every month from now on. You're getting the a, a, a minimum of two Patreon exclusive episodes a month, which you will only see if you're on the Patreon and the early access. You're getting all that bundled in and it's £4 a month. So if that's something you want to see, you want to get more involved, you like us and you want to see more of us, patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod, link down in the description. We love you. Hello, welcome back to the What's Happening Podcast. Hi. Boys, you're on episode 50, you know. 50, yeah, five, boys, episode 50. 50. 50. Do you know what does my head in though, right? The 5 0. No, it's actually <laughs> only 49 because if you go back to like the very, very start, we jumped from like 7 to 9, we skipped an 8. I'm sure we did. No, uh, it's because we have to. Oh, it's episode 49. Look at episode 49. How are we doing? Good nah, to see you. It is 50. Matty, good to have you back, though. I know. Good to have you back in the, the studio. I've missed, missed it, the boys, but I'm back. I'm yeah. back. Are you feeling all right? I yeah, know, I know. No, but boys, I'm back. So, um, yeah. nah, Matty's been banged. Don't bang- get used to me not being on it. All right. Matty's, we'll Matty's been banged up abroad. Uh, he got caught with yeah. loads of yayo in Dubai. What's a yayo, lad? Cocaine. Who oh, is it? Yeah. Never heard of Yayo. No, I've never heard of Yayo. Yayo. Daddy is in sexology. The devil's dancer off, innit? Yeah, do you know what I want to do today? Because I've been seeing loads of it on like Twitter and like on the news and that. Have Midgets? you seen... No, oh, sorry. No. Have you seen what the fuck's going on in America at the minute? It's uh-huh. getting uh-huh. weird. So the other week in Ohio, a big, um, like, stick, it was like a big factory blew up. It looked like a fucking nuke went off. Put a picture of the fucking explosion cloud on the screen now. Gender yeah. reveals. It's, no, it looked. No, no, no. It looked like it looked like a nuke went off. You you could see it from the from the um, international space station. They could see the cloud coming through to the ozone layer. It was fucking huge. Right. And something else happened in Ohio. Someone put his jeans on the radiator with his elf bar. No, listen, 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 it, it's heavy, lad. And then something else happened in Ohio. So, which polluted all of the fucking rivers and the lakes in Ohio, polluted the water up to fuck. And then something happened, I think it was yesterday, where it was in somewhere else, it wasn't in Ohio. A fucking uranium factory caught on fire. What? Uranium. Why Isn't that what fucking homo works in? Yeah. Off the Simpsons. <laughs> caught on fire no. and fucking blew up. No. Some madness is going on. Oh I'm going to have a look. We, we can cut this out while I find oh some conspiracy God. theories about it, and I'm going to say the conspiracy theories. Do you theories. reckon this happened just naturally, or is like someone doing all this stuff? Well, we'll what see. Mean? Mad, innit? You never know. Um, ASMR. Sponsored by McCoy's. Do you, do you believe in all the ozone layer shit, though? The well, yeah, mean? I do believe it's real. Do yeah. you believe that? It's no, science. No, but like the way that they're saying, like now, like about, um, what's it, like the fucking, like the air's getting hotter and, and all that shit. Remember like, ozone? No man, no man, yeah. I think, no, no, but do you believe it's, it's as real as they're making out? So do you reckon, because yeah. some people's theory on it is that it, that's an agenda to try and control the mass again? Because ev- everyone's now asked about the ozone layer and asked about all this. So, like, n- everyone's not focused on the real problem. It's the what do you mean, like, that doesn't exist. What do you mean, like, them talking about, like, global warming? Global and warming, and like, that, sorry, yeah, well, yeah, did yeah. you see the video with the, um, I don't know who the fella was, but he was talking, someone said something like, oh, you don't care about global warming. He was just trying to fucking shit the fuck down. Mm-hmm. And he said, like, London, if it was go- going the way it was, London in the next, like, 20 years' time will all be underwater. 
So we said, so why did they get, why are they still giving out mortgages that are last yeah, like 40, yeah, yeah. 50 years if they not? I don't think that's 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 I'm not even messing right. Aladdin Works showed me this last year. There's a website, right, where you can check the predicted water levels, put your postcode in and all that. Lad, in, I think it was in like 35 years, the majority of Southport is underwater. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'm made and, and, and all of the pier head and all that. Southport's been getting away with existing for far too long. <laughs> <laughs> They're selling houses Fuck the lot of you! They're selling houses in Norwich for a pound, aren't they? That's on the seafront. Because yeah, that's meant to be going underwater in like... Uh, really? Like oh, years. go I swear on. Gav. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't for a quid. You, 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 you buy for it. Like, come in. I, I've just went to shop and spent eight quid on shite. I don't know what I mean. That's eight quid. Do you know what? Even at them rates, I still can't afford it. I am not skimping. Danny Bear like that. 75 pence. That's not just 87. You've never seen the one pound houses in town in Liverpool yeah so down Smith Down Road there's a, a, a little area oh no and they're all one pound houses right one. but you have to know so no, what you no, have to do was a shop. Was so what you, ha- what you have to do is um, there was a documentary on it about ch- on Channel 4 I think it was about it uh-huh. um, so to, to buy this house you have to apply through the council yeah. you have to show means of Living um, there, instead of like selling it. Yes, that? you yeah, couldn't yeah. just buy it, sell it uh, you couldn't just buy it, do it up and sell it you have to stay there for so many years but you have to show means of you had funds to, to, to do, do the house and all that, right? But it was fucking, I get it, right? But how they done it was fucking stupid because they had, say, 10 streets where all the houses were pure bombed out, right? Yeah. Well, like pure smackheads, teeth everywhere. <laughs> and instead of filling one street with 30 to 40 tenants and making this street fucking gorgeous, right? They'd put two people in that street, three people in that street, yeah. oh, yeah. four yeah, in that yeah, street. Cool. One in that street. So you've got a house with fucking no neighbours and all bombed up houses, boss. lad. Yeah. No, <laughs> like the boss. Say, boss. Like, because no one lived there. The houses were just getting targets. Like, people were just coming fucking raiding the houses because it's just you on your own. Yeah. No one's there yeah. to fucking, like, get, like phone the busies or anything, lad. <laughs> so it was just, it was mad. Like, what do you reckon the reason is for that, then? Instead of putting people all in the same street? Why do you reckon them around? Spread them out. I don't know, but yeah, the, all I think in America though, I'm going to look on TikTok yeah. there quick. We can oh, what thing in America I missed? I was definitely home, we just dropped the right, fucking so uranium. In Ohio, a big steel oh, factory oh, oh, blew yeah, up, yeah, yeah. and then, yeah, and then something, something else happened, happened in Ohio, which polluted all of the water. Um, and Something else blew up as well. Something else blew up yesterday. It was, I was Wasn't saying that in Florida, though? Do hey, you know what else blew up? That clip about me, ma. It did. <laughs> uh, it did. It did. But, um, no, Your yeah. ma didn't blow up like. <laughs> so, 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 so something else. <laughs> His ma didn't blow up. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Yeah, fella. <laughs> yeah, fella's face blew up when the fucking string strangled him. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a uranium factory caught on fire, which sure. isn't good, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Well, haven't you noticed, isn't it weird now that the Chinese wasn't spying and now things are blowing up? Well, also, all of the mainstream media, I've, I've just seen this then, I remember they're seeing They're not talking about it, Well, no, it's not, it's bad. It's not that they're not talking about it. Any time a journalist would go anywhere near that thing in Ohio, they'd get arrested. Oh, really? Yeah, they like were arresting them. Don't like just arresting them for being by the site. They were arresting them because, well, it made people's th- first doors and my first door when I seen that was they're obviously doing that because something's went on it that they don't want people yeah, knowing yeah, about. Yeah, what amendment's freedom? Out. Is it the first? Second amendment, I think, freedom of speech. I thought second amendment was. Guns. Guns. Well, then it's one of them. No, wait, there. That's the Fifth Amendment. How many have they got? Oh, is it? I I forgot forgot they got got I'm sure it's a Second Amendment. I'm from the Swan, lad. <laughs> <laughs> the Swan's got, got, got its own amendments. Yeah, got its own amendments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by Polly and by Bucky. <laughs> that's, um, that's the two amendments, lad. Yeah, lad, look, look at the big fucking dust cloud. Put a picture of the dust cloud on the screen now. <laughs> just, mm. I'm 20 just going to put a picture of a random cloud up. Just throw one with the Just throw one with the camera to the roof. Yeah, but no, yeah, it's fucking nuts, lad. And then... 27 amendments in America. And then, and then there's, um... There's, there's, what else has there been, lad? There's been... Over Alaska, in like the last fucking like two weeks, America have, 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 have intercepted like eight Russian fucking planes flying over Alaska and all shit like that. Okay. Yeah. And I think, like, what's going well, on? Well, there's a lot more than we know, did, did, but, Well, I said, I, I put up, there was a video that I, I, I quote tweeted on Twitter before um, about a, a, a Russian propagandist, propagandist or whatever the word is, uh, doing like a speech and he's talking about basically dropping a nuclear bomb on Yellowstone. Don't lie. I know, I know, I know. To blow up. Scared yet, yeah. Bob? Yeah. Don't worry. I am now. Right. <laughs> isn't it if Yellowstone goes off, like, 80% of the world gets wiped out? It's all dead, yeah, dead isn't it? It's all ass, because Yogi, Bear, Yogi Bear lives there. <laughs> Why are you killing Yogi Bear for you, dickhead? <laughs> hey, no, uh, talking Yogi about Bear. Russia, though, right? i seen something. Uh, it was actually today. Um, was it Putin? It was a paedophile. Dick right? was. It was a paedophile <laughs> in Russia. Yeah. Um, Just one? Yeah, yeah, there's loads. Russia's um, a nice place. No, there was a paedophile who got caught fucking months in this kid, right? It's three on my road. And the R fella of the kid, caught him, 
stabbed him 28 times, Look. right? Yeah. Cut his balls off yeah. and buried them in the forest. And the Russian government um, and the police force have put it down to suicide. <laughs> so, so, so some fella, some fella was like, so it's, it's quite common practice for Russian paedophiles when they commit suicide to stab themselves in the back twenty eight times, cut the balls off, and bury themselves under the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stand, they kill himself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't take fucking. That's, really the though, like, that's, the, that's the right thing. Like the like that parents that that kids' parents shouldn't be fucking punished for doing was what it, he done. Yeah. Was it the a USC fighter who done that or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, it was his niece. Tai Chi Vasa. Tai Chi Vasa. It was his niece or something, lad. Um, some fella had been on to his niece. He went to jail for and it, didn't he? I don't know whether he killed him, but he, he shot, shot him. him. No, yeah, yeah, shot yeah, him. Yeah, and, then, and then there was people who were like, free him. Like, 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 what, like, is he still in jail now? No, he's out now. Oh, is he? Is he out now, is he? Yeah, as of very recently. But like, And what, will he go back into the UFC then? No, he's no, tired. No. Oh, was he? Oh, okay. he was tired anyway. Now yeah, that Dana yeah. White slapped his bed, and you know, yeah. it's, it's just, up. it's just madness, lad. Like the fucking, the, what is it? What's the word? Is it the judicial system or something like yeah, that? The judicial it's system. It's flawed, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's like, like I seen a thing years ago. Someone broke into some fella's house with the intention of robbing all of his fucking, yeah, 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 all, of his, all of his valuables. If you attack him first, hit him in the knees with a hammer. And then the fellow who broke into his house pressed charges yeah, and, he got yeah, yeah. and the fellow got sent down. So the thing yeah, is as well, right, 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 so say, the weapon. say someone breaks into your house, right? If he comes upstairs, oh, you can use you reasonable can use, force yeah, yeah, yeah. and fuck him up because he's coming into your private space. If but you, isn't, the, isn't me yeah. living room a private space? Yeah, exactly. Get out it's my, house. my garden is the private space. <laughs> but, if you, get out, bro, but if you fuck him up downstairs, you get done. So what are you going to do? He's walking past you, you're telling him, you're going, you step one foot on that chair, <laughs> lad, you're fucking going, lad. I'm waiting for him. Come on, lad. Isn't it a thing? If the bullet wounds in the the bullet wound is in the front, then that's classed as self-defence. If it's in the back, you can get charged for it because the class is they were trying to get away. And Rob is just turning us back to going, go on, chip out. Go on, do it, lad. Go on, chip out. 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 Go on, Come in the attic. <laughs> get in this loft, lad. Watch what happens. Yeah, you're getting buried, dickhead. Um, Just notes, lad. Me ma's second husband, right? <laughs> Scottish from Glasgow. He was telling us a story years ago about one of his mates or something where Christmas morning, he had three kids waking up, coming downstairs, kids all excited, jumping around and all that. And as he got to the bottom of the stairs, there was just two fellas leaving the house with all the presents, right? Mm. So the kids are screaming, crying. The fucking Grinch! The fucking so, yeah. bandits. Yeah. <laughs> so he... <laughs> the fucking <laughs> yeah, bandits. The fucking <laughs> bandits. <laughs> so he, he, gra he grabbed the cleaver, right? Chased them. And as one of the fellas was jumping in the back of the van, and like shutting the door, he just fucking took like four fingers off or something, right? Just chopped his fingers and he got done. <laughs> Picked a blanket. He, he, le <laughs> 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 he left his property, went out into the public street and fucking cut his fella's fingers yeah. off and yeah. he got caught in an attack on self defense. Listen, anymore. I, 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 it doesn't uh, fascinate me like the like laws and things, you know, like what's that? I don't even know if it's a thing anymore, but I know it definitely was where it's got a name to it where you can't get tried for the, for the, for the, case that you've already been tried Sorry, on. Tomorrow, yeah, yeah, so yeah. if I killed you mm. and I went to court and it was like, oh, and they were on and on for ages and then it was like, you oh no, I'm not innocence. guilty. And then two weeks, later, come up. Two, like, two weeks later, there's an actual video of me going over to you and popping you in the head. And uh, like, and it's blatantly me and I'm smiling at the camera giving it all that. I can't get done for that because I've already been not guilty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But isn't the American fucking justice system on its ass as well? Like in the UK. Yeah, it's just like, probably worse. If you get... If you get fucking done for murder, you can go a 22 years life sentence, it yeah. says, 22 to life in it. Yeah. In America, they go, yeah, 575 years in prison. What's the point? Because no one's ever yeah. going to live to 575 yeah. they years. They do 25 per kill, don't they? But like, over here, we do it tw like 22. For, so like you could have killed 10 people and you got 22 years. But in America, if you killed 22 people, it's yeah, 20, yeah, yeah, 22 yeah, times all their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, but it's fucking stupid. Because like, why sentence someone for that length of time? They're going to be fucking dead anyway. So it might as well just say until you're dead. Is, every, yeah. is, is, the, is the death sentence still legal in every state? There's only a couple of states. No, a couple of uh, states. A couple of states yeah. Florida's, Florida. It's legal in most still, isn't it? it not, it's legal so in the UK, Texas, still. But we just don't practice it. It, it's legal in the It's UK. legal to still like put someone to death. But we so just how, don't what would you then have to do to is be it? sentenced to death in yeah, England? Because I don't. Kill 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 nah, I don't know if it is. You know, because I'm, I'm sure, sure the I'm last sure ever wasn't no. the last ever. Smoked yeah. the Queen's ashes in a joint. What 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 town or city is it famous for? Where they hung a monkey. 
that's a true <laughs> thing. That I swear, yeah, 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 yeah,
واي شنو تاع جاي دخلت؟ لا 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 Lock him up. I don't know what class is one of them. Is it just a tip towing? Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah but what if you're in a strap of a fish shop? With your tits out? Yeah. Well, I watch me, I can't have your tits She's got a tits out. If, that, if, so, if well, like, girls working in like, the trap of a fish store walking around with fish, are you going to notice the fish that she's holding? No, lad. Are <laughs> you walking around yeah. holding fish anyway? <laughs> The dead. <laughs> Don't lie. I'd be like, what? What? What's this? Is this a fish? Are, are they? <laughs> this is apparently a law, so it's illegal in London to be drunk in a pub. Apparently, and apparently this is still a law because in like 1839 <laughs> it was made illegal that you can't actually be drunk on a licensed premises, and it's still a law now. Really? But but it it says underneath it's a good job that we all act sober. With the joke on face. <laughs> ah, like, so what, you, can fucking, you, you, you can fucking do balloons in Leicester Square <laughs> and no one's asked. Apparently you can't carry planks of wood along the pavements in London either. You're not allowed to carry a plank of wood. <laughs> really? But you know, what, you know what makes me think though with all these weird laws? <laughs> with all these weird laws. Join us like that fucking me job's gone. I wonder what happened when someone was carrying a plank of wood down the street for them to go, right, we can't have that anymore. Nah, all that, 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 that was, it was like back in the day in like the 1600s where like an aristocrat was walking down the road trying to bend on this bear while a worker was like walking down the road with planks of wood flirting with the bear he fancies. And he was just like, like right, no. that's it, law. Yeah. And then he made the law and he's walked down with the thing. He's like, well, yeah. Yeah. And, no one, and no one practices the law anymore. Do you know what I mean? So like yeah. that's a law that people just can't be asked um, writing out the law. Yeah. No one actually uses it as yeah. a law anymore. It's hard to like kibosh a law now that once it's been passed, it's fucking dead ass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a long Which? process, yeah. Get rid of the law. Oh, is it? But, like, talking about planks of wood, a difference. One of my our fellas mates years ago. Remember like them caught on camera shows? Yeah. yeah. Lights, camera, action and all that. Yeah, and all that. One of my our fellas mates had a 50cc moped going down edge, edge lane with a fucking... Like 16 foot plank of wood across the back of his moped, just going down, taking the old road. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I spoke about this on another one, but um, apparently, after six o'clock in Florida, you're not allowed to fart in public. I've heard that one. That's a mad I've one. Heard that one yeah. yeah, what's it? I like these weird laws. They're quite. F- I'm looking at ones in a minute. It is illegal to stand within 100 yards of a reigning monarch without wearing socks. What the what fuck? What if you got what? sandals on, lad? Yeah. You, you, nick. You've got to wear socks and sandals, lad. <laughs> That's nuts, there. <laughs> yeah. It is illegal to crack a boiled egg at the sharp end. Don't know what that means. The sharp end? Didn't know there was a sharper end. I know. On a, on a boiled egg. That's what happened. You can't... It's illegal to put, an, um, to put a, a stamp upside down on an envelope. You can't drive your car in reverse in public roads in Arizona. What if it's a one-way? You need to get out. You shouldn't be going up the one-way anyway. Sorry, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got, got a car. Have it me? is illegal to impersonate a Chelsea pensioner. This is you're really not Frank Lampard. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's a dog, but doesn't live here. <laughs> this isn't really like a law, but have you ever noticed? Like, there's quite a few at by Sefton Park um, where it'll have like on a street sign, it'll have the road name, and then in the bottom <laughs> corner it says unadopted. Have you ever seen it? What's that mean? So it means like that that road doesn't belong to the council. So any upkeep and maintenance work of that road, so like tarmac and pavement, street lights, the residents have to pay for it. Oh, fuck off. Oh, right. mad's that lad, yeah. But you know what, that, that'd probably work out for the better in certain areas because the council don't do fucking yeah. anything. But, wait, but do they still have to pay tax on I don't them? think you pay council tax, no. You wouldn't have to pay council oh, tax. We'll get on this yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, but is there many roles like that in Liverpool? though? quite a few. Is there, yeah? Me mate Jason lives in Preston. It's like a new built housing estate. So like, as the as like the road goes down, there's like a little close where he lives, but it's not, it's not a continuation of the road. It's like a crazy paving, massive long driveway with then three houses on it. So you've got to drive onto like the private driveway to access your driveway. And he said that oh, we have made with the last house. He said because on the blueprints and the plot of the land, that driveway that they all have to share physically belongs to the end house. So he always kicks off about them driving, but he can't get to the house without driving on it. And he always put cones out and everything to try and stop them driving on their own road, yeah, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just kill yeah. them. Just kill yeah. them. I reckon we have a word from another sponsor. Matty, what sponsor have we got, lad? We have Manscaped using WHP20 at checkout. Gets you 20% off all orders with free shipping. Now, what sort of products do they do, guys? Sort of pro- they've got loads of products, lad. But the Lomo 4.0, fantastic razor, right? 
Helps reduce nicks on the ball bag. It's waterproof. It's got a light on it. You can get in. All your crevices on the big fat Ned Kelly and everything. And shave, it's sound. They've also got the weed whacker, which Danny loves. It's a personal favourite for Danny. The weed whacker. The weed whacker. <laughs> you get right up your fucking nose like that. It made me come the other day, you know. I was on the weed whacker. <laughs> and I was pure, like... I got, like, population paste dribbling out of me foreskin and everything. And that is such a nice sensation, you know. And you know what? While I had all population paste everywhere... I gave a little clean and I got the crop reserve and the crop reserve outlet and fucking freshened it up. It was beautiful. What else did the offer, lads? And you also have the Beer Hedger Pro with titanium. Beard. You said beard. The Beard Hedger the new, Pro. The new product, the beard oh. range that they're doing. It's got titanium blades and it also comes with oils and balms. So get in touch. <sighs> WHP20 at checkout. At manscaped.com, bitches. Here's a weird law from Louisiana. Go on. You can't send unsolicited pizza. It says, if in Louisiana, don't try to send anyone a surprise pizza or you'll have to pay heavily for this appalling gesture. <laughs> a whole five hundred. I wish someone had sent me a pizza yeah. on like, slide. Let, let, let's say we lived in Louisiana yeah. and I was feeling nice and I was like, I'm going to order Matt to get pizza. Mm. And I was, get, I'm just going to get him a Domino's straight to his door and you open your door and went, I didn't order this. And I was like, surprise, I get fined $500 for that. Don't know why. That was definitely because of planks like going out of hand though. Like people people probably order fucking like fifty fucking yeah, pizza we, boxes. Glad we used and people to have to pay on the on, on there and then, do you know what I mean? Instead of yeah. the just wouldn't get paid. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> <true. laughs> get on this right there. It says if you're over fourteen years old, you cannot trick or treat in Chase in Chesapeake City, Virginia. Adults in adults involved in trick or treating festivities must only be accompanied by a child and not engaging in trick or treat. I mean, to be fair, if you're over forty, you're you're going to I went trick or treat when I was sixteen. I went trick or treat when I was sixteen because I was stoned in and I got bad munchies and I had no money in my pocket. I'm locking on Ken's. I'm 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 I was like, 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 pure in North Face. Lads and Park and everything. Yeah, I can have some scram, please. He just looks like with his little muzzy. Not this fucking July. With his little muzzy. People just think he's a kid dressed up as a dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chewing yeah, chewing like gum is not allowed in Singapore. Really? Yeah. And in Switzerland, flushing the toilet at night is considered noise pollution. Fuck off. In Thailand, you can't smoke a vape. Oh, what, yeah, yeah. What about me? He's got a rest of it. was in jail for like yeah. a week. You can't smoke a vape. Wearing camouflage clothing is considered a serious crime in Africa. How would they know? Can't <laughs> 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 How, How would they know? They Apparently know. in Al- Alaska, kangaroos are not allowed in barbershops at any time. Ah, oh, <laughs> hey, loads of kangaroos walking around with their man going like, "Johnny Five out of town here." <laughs> what? In Colorado, what? car dealers may not show cars on a Sunday. Fuck. It's yeah, I found the website. Changing light bulbs is illegal in Victoria, Australia. So once your light bulb goes, you just got to live in the dark. It's pitch black. <laughs> yeah, I found Get the website here, yeah, and it's 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 given me the weirdest laws passed in every single state. Right. So we're not going to do all of them, <clears throat> but it says in Wyoming. No, not that's a shit one. Uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin takes its cheese seriously. State law requires that cheese labelled as Wisconsin certified premium grade double A meets a certain standard. It must be fine, highly pleasing, and free from undesirable flavours or odours. Oh so in, 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 in fucking Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, your cheese can't smell of cheese. Oh, really? Oh, it's not. Well, fuck that then. I like just living on cheese like and baby bells. Yeah, yeah, just like mozzarella and fucking. Uh, I was like the local drug dealer making his chat fucking double A certified. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, worry, Don't be saying that's from my. Oh yeah, lad. Bigfoot hunters, beware! It says, uh, Skamania City, uh, sorry, Skamania County, Washington, passed a law in 1969 deeming the slaying of Bigfoot to be a felony and punishable by five years in prison. The law was later amended, um, designating Bigfoot as an endangered species. Where 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 is that like where where is he meant to be from? Surely only one. Um, surely only one. Is it? Is surely. it Alaska? Alaska big bigfoot now. No. Apparently the Sasquatches. So apparently right. I was gonna say it's only, it's only meant to be one bigfoot. So surely only one person can nicked. Nah, so this is the thing. I you, I used to I when I was when I was like 15, 16, What is it? Um, no, but someone must have had to give birth to bigfoot. When I was like so when I was like sixteen. Um, Smells like Bigfoot I, I, dick! I, I, I went through a proper phase. I believe in Bigfoot was real and they were keeping this species hidden from us. So I used to watch this programme called Finding Bigfoot. Joe Rogan, hundred yeah, for him, didn't he? Yeah, and, 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 and like, and it's so the, the Does etiquette... Does he believe in them? Nah. He, he done a documentary about all these people who do believe in them and okay. he, he was buzzing off them. The etiquette yeah. um, in, 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 the, in the Sasquatch community Sasquatch. is Bigfoot 
isn't just like one singular entity. There's a whole species of these like ape hybrid so things. So big feet. Been noticing them, it's not the same one. No, no. So we can be okay. from anywhere. There could be a big foot in fucking in 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 in, in Arizona. There could be a big foot in California. Fucking, I reckon there's loads of well. creatures that we don't know about. <coughs> isn't it like in the um, Arizona? Rainforest. Is that, is that Rainforest. Amazon. 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 Over part of the forest that are too dense for us to actually access. Yeah, there's only And um, no, it was the one in New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and there's some fella having a wank. No, the the the, the fan like an un, un, undiscovered like tribe, tribe yeah, that we never knew about. Yeah. And when people zoom into the pictures, like so why was it too dense for us to get there? If there's already people there, well, because people have lived there for years. Yeah. What do you mean so, by dense? Like, like the forest too gets thick. too thick for us to get through. We, oh, outside and we've got to take vehicles and stuff, haven't we? Oh. But, like you've got to take vehicles to get so far in. We can't just fucking walk the whole distance. But like, you though. Nah, I reckon give you take we. Nah, take. Months, lad. This is the same fella who's, who's going to kill a moose with his bare hands. But uh, lad, any moose What's he going to kill a uh, kill a fucking greyhound? Or what was it? James, <laughs> yeah, lad, listen, lad, look, lad, laugh all you want, Mazzy. I'm I'm nailing a James Shepherd, but anyway, yeah. Imagine and, um, you and that James Shepherd going in for the weighing. So when, like, zo- when, when when they zoom in on like the pictures of like these people and the drones, <laughs> they they're closer to like you know the people say like, like the like, evolution. They're closer to previous stages in evolution, so yeah, their yeah. feet are wider to accommodate for them. Was it you walking through the forest? Was it you saying that he seems to be a Massive gap between yeah, like yeah. the human yeah, skull yeah, today yeah. and then the last skull they found. There's yeah. a massive gap where yeah. there's like there's stuff missing. So a, a, a we could have just uh, killed them all because they because people yeah, say they still there was different types of humans alive at one point, but then well, this type of human which we are, we just killed the rest of them I, off because we were I, just the top. I had a little species. joint. Do, 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 the the top dogs. I had a little yeah. joint through the week and I started thinking about like evolution, right? And I'm not saying I believe this. It was just a little thought that I had. It probably doesn't even make sense. Like there's probably like a science or somebody who could tell me the actual reason. But I was thinking. You know, this podcast is full of nonsense anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I was thinking, like, right. Yeah, cool. So, oh, shit, shit. what if evolution wasn't real? And allow me to explain my theory as to why. I'm not saying I don't think Go it on. is. But it's just a little thing that I've got. I love like, the way people so. pure argue over it. Like, I, like who's asked? Like, <laughs> I exist now. I don't, I don't care what it is before me. But, right, okay, so, we, right, do us a favor. Put a picture on the screen here of, like, the evolution from like the 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 oh yeah yeah like so just, just so Neanderthals the, is it called Neanderthals the, the, the like, like, uh, my bed that quick go on let, let, let me just just, just me before forget because how deep that is yeah yeah <laughs> so, so yeah, a picture right, of me so, on the couch and then put a Neanderthal's head next to it when that's you the head right so um let me just let me just get this picture up as a reference frame for you before I start just chatting shit right so right so we went from like chimps. To, uh, <coughs> then, ch- then bigger chimps, then <coughs> Neanderthal-like things, then cavemen, then, 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 then humans, right? Now, what I want to know is if we started off as chimps and now we're humans. Why chimps? Exactly, because none of these things in between chimps and humans still exist. We don't walk down the streets and go, oh, yeah, oh yeah. there's a caveman there. But we well, can... we can. if you don't count your own, don't I? That's no, a good question, but, that, yeah. But, like, but yeah. like, so, like... like so the, 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 this is what I'm saying. It's like the very first stage of evolution and the very last, or, the, or not very last, but current stage of evolution coexist alongside each other on the same planet. Mm, how? Well, where's all the ones from the middle? In the Amazon, yeah. where have where they went? Dense. So my, possibly. Yeah, so my perception of that is like chimps. Like once humans started um, evolving, whichever chimps just found their own place to live. So like the Amazon rainforest, whichever. Like and then, the apes. I was oh my before, god! Yes, why, exactly. why aren't chimps still wait, evolving? All right, humans? Consul- all right. So That's a valid point, yeah. Why aren't you? Right, so we obviously yeah. we, we obviously weren't chimps. We were a mammal like species of sort. But we were never chimps. We're never, never chimps. No, chimps. Because we can't be we can't be a chimpanzee because there's still fucking chimpanzees no, and what, monkeys right, living. What, what they're saying though. We were some form of primate. Let, that let, we've let me show evolved. you the evolution scale, Oliver. Like, just so how I can give does you this. how I does evolution say. work, lad? Like no, but no, but like, look, but it, it still happens today. Like the certain animals, like the certain fish now, where. In, like, the fucking Arizonian rainforest, right? <laughs> um, where, like, when there's a drought and the water levels drop, like, these fish have developed to, like, breathe out of water. Oh, and, yeah. the f- and, like, the flippers have turned into, but like, how did web they get feet. To that point? And they don't, that's what I don't, so don't know. I don't, don't know. Because we're going to lose our little toe, partly, over time. <laughs> 
Everyone laughs, lad. It's a bad lad. Say it, cheer up, lad. No, but we're going to lose our little toe because we don't need to swing from teas anymore. Like, the real. Do you know what? Forget about it. If you don't want to hear pure facts. You know what it's I mean? Just, it's just, it's not even that. You know, no, if anyone so else was to say it, I'd be usually go, oh, yeah, fucking hell, man. It's just because it's you saying it, it's just comes out funny. It's just, no, you know so the reason why we've got toes is because they're like, you say absurd shit. I just love it. Like, it's big pure facts, lad. That's what it is, bro. Anyway. Okay, so go on, why are we going to lose our little so, toes, man? So the reason why we have toes in general is because we used to be chimps and used to swing from seas with our feet, but we don't need to do that no more. So we don't use our little toe for anything. The only toe we use is our big toe because we balance with it. Yeah. So what That's eventually we're just going to become one big toe. Possibly, yeah. lads. Possibly, lads. We don't need arms anymore, lads. We, Possibly. It's all done through technology, so we've just like, got big toes. Just a big, just That's one big nail, just like a hedge trimmer, just to cut your nail. Yeah. Remember, like, the fucking, the nail display I had 30 years ago, where it was the family of noses walking around, and it's become toes. Family of Matties. Yeah. So, apparently... Evolution is possible when there is a variation in the genetic makeup amongst organisms that affect their traits. Then, if certain individuals in a population reproduce more successfully than others, then their traits become more common within the population. The result is evolutionary change. So, like mixed breed dogs. So, say you got a pedigree dog. Say you got a pedigree pit bull, mm. and then shag a Jack Russell. Yeah, but, me or the pitbull? Yeah, but, pit okay. but what? <laughs> so, so, that, so what I don't understand though is humans are all humans. So I, I can I not? Am I shagging a, a human that's a different so species? I, like, do you know what I mean? Like I don't. Like, so I don't if get I shag it. a you get interracial like evolution, don't you? So like if a white man and a black woman have sex, and yeah, they, but they have, it's still it's still a human. It still is a human. Maybe yeah. a, di- a, so a different color, it's, but it's it's isn't it just the way the that society is that humans adapt to it? So why you what I'm saying about your toes and stuff because. We don't, we don't live yeah, in a way... Yeah, but one day you're going to wake up and your little toe's going to be on the floor. <laughs> don't know what I mean? No! Like, like, over like generations, generations, over, over yeah, generations, yeah. your little toe will increasingly become smaller, smaller and smaller, smaller until one day there's a kid born with no little toe. It's not just going to happen. You're going to wake up and go, oh, we'll be fuck gone. <laughs> it's going to happen over time. But, like, I, I can't wrap my head around why, like, the very first stage of where we came from and where we directly descend from still exists. We also coexist alongside it in the same timeline. Why? Where's all the middle bits of the evolution yeah. tail gone? But, and why is there not still chimps evolving into people? So or, or into, but, they, but, so, they, but they could be, though. It says, yeah. Because yeah. there's some chimps. Like, humans, humans, humans are still evolving now. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just on a smaller scale. We don't see massive change, but it says humans will almost certainly evolve to live longer. Much longer life cycles evolve in response to mortality rates. How likely predators and other threats are to kill you when mortality rates are high? Animals must re- reproduce young or might not reproduce. Isn't at that all. just down to Western medicine, though? Yeah, a lot of it's that. But then again, no, right? Do you know what? That that does make sense, though, because if you, do you know if you look at pictures of people who were like say like thirty odd in like the very 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 late. 1800s to early 1900s, they were fucking ugly. Like they all, like no, they were though. Like if you look at all pictures of all proper, like people. From I don't like think people from back in the 1800s were waking up and thinking about brushing the teeth. No, no, no. no, no. I, don't about, I don't mean yeah, hygiene. Yeah, yeah. I just mean the way they looked was a bit different. Yeah. They looked a bit like barely and a bit like yeah, yeah. just a bad camera day, that. No, black and white cameras. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they, That's a Sunday morning job, that. Man, like, <laughs> you you, know you would never have got a woman as beautiful as Margot Robbie if you are still watching and you've got a dick. Let I'll yeah. give you the two. Have you seen that woman? <laughs> that clip back up. What I'm saying is, have you seen that woman who all the fellas killed themselves over because they all loved her and she was the fucking ugly. She was massive, ever. yeah. Well, uh, apparently, was she, she was princess, massive. She big, big fat cunt. But apparently, back in the day, that shows your wealth, doesn't it? She oh, was like it a does. Princess in Africa, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you're like fat or whatever, people people perceive that you've got wealth. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, I don't know what what point in history it was, but it was seen as more desirable to have a fat like woman. Like girlfriend, wife, whatever, because there was more of it. Persia. So I think mm. if you had a beard who was dead skinny and I had a beard who was dead fat, I'd like half got more beard than you. But you're, you're still chugging the same amount of holes. Well, it depends if your beard likes it in the arse or not. Well, still the same amount of holes, don't it? Well, I, look, I weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like, make 13, <laughs> 13 men <clears throat> committed suicide. Over this fucking... Over the fat page, yeah. Over this princess of Persia. Oh, the fuck. oh no, yeah, I'll get that. What, oh, is it lad. princess of Persia? Yeah, that one, yeah. Did, did you ever play the lad, games years ago, the prince of Persia? Prince of heaven. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, so the yeah. greatest games of all time. That's a fella, that. Like, she's got a mad, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Keith, isn't it? That's, yeah, it's that. Like, look at the that little... One. She meant to be a kid with that little skirt. I'm no, she looks like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> that one. That one, is it? Go on, images. That's a bad picture, that Princess one. Kajar. Yeah, that one is it with the fucking little leg head. How moody she looks there, lad. Looks like the one who sings over the rainbow. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my Israel God, comes wacky. What that means? Israel comes wacky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut up. And then he goes, what? And people, people killed themselves over not being able to shag that. No, it's different perceptions of what nice looking, <laughs> nice looking is, isn't it? Because like back in the day, yeah, but people lad, thought it's never nice looking. It's never someone who like, like lad, but, but maybe that was the nice looking girl about. Uh, no, it could be like, 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 like Down syndrome. I always got it. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. 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 I'm not saying Down <laughs> syndrome's <laughs> ugly. I'm just saying I wouldn't fuck have you one. Seen, lad, have you seen <laughs> that clip of the American kid who's talking about his sister getting kidnapped? And he goes, uh, he goes, ah, uh, yeah, like. When she got kidnapped, it affects her now. She's got PTSD and post traumatic Down syndrome. Oh, yeah. Down syndrome. Post traumatic. It's time for another wave from another one of the sponsors. This time, it's T Trades. Bobby, what does T Trades offer? Well, what doesn't T Trades offer is probably the better question. T Trades. T Trades offers live courses on uh, trading with cryptocurrency. Shorto offers crypto guides, uh, stock market guides, understanding debt guides, and financial freedom guides. Also, if you want to invest with Tyler, please head over to t-trades.com. All the information will be on the website. Link to it down below in the description. We love you. You know what that reminds me of as well? Have you seen the clip of the... the, the, the <laughs> I've, I've done all the programme. Is it like... It's not like I come down with me. It was like like they swap homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we um, yeah. And the, uh, the white woman goes into the into the family. <gasps> yeah, the PlayStation and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, it I, didn't I, smell, it like, smell like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then she tries to correct it by going like, Muslims. Yeah, it didn't even smell like. It didn't even smell like Muslim. I was like, and then she went. And then she then they went. They even had a PlayStation and a Skype remote, <laughs> and I was like, "What's having a PlayStation would have been horrendous." How? How did the editors let that get it? Yeah, do you know what? Though, if, you're, if I'm the editor of that, I'm thinking, "No, do you know what? Fuck yeah, I'm letting people know that you're a racist." Head, yeah, exactly. Because people might have seen it on the house and go, "Look at her being all accepting." <laughs> Fuck right. lad. Have you ever seen um, Theo Vaughn when he's on um, Trigonometry? So there's a podcast called Trigonomacy, like the two fucking dickheads, la. <laughs> they talk about, like, fucking... Oh, do you Yeah, and they go, so they, they do the intro, this, they go, yeah. Welcome to Trigonometry. This is the show where we get fascinating people to talk about fascinating story. And Theo Vaughn's just laughing, mate. Right? Oh, and the host you. goes, Our host today is already taking the piss out of us. It's the American comedian, Theo Vaughn. And he goes, you guys have what we call... Autism. <laughs> that is boss, that is that is I don't know what you guys call it, but we call it autism. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what question, right? Because I was doing, I was doing a live on TikTok the other day. Because apparently now I'm 16. Oh, by the way, um, you know Brendan fucking Schwab. What's his oh, name? Oh yeah. I messaged him. Was like, he's doing a tour in England. I was like, listen, lad, I know it's a long shot, but if if when you're in Manchester, just fancy jumping on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, and he said, I was like, yeah. but no, yeah, like yeah, I was I was doing a live the other day, and someone put in. What are your top three dream guests to have on the podcast? And I want to know, like, to start with Gary. If, if 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 you could if you could pick, not at the same time, like three separate episodes. Like, who would your three dream guests be? One that I want I want to have on because I think he's just fucking outrageous, Conor McGregor. Yeah, I think. Yeah, don't like him, but it no, is. Just, like just because. Beef. Beef. He's a fucking roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. Isn't he? yeah, I'd love to be able to tap into that. Um, let's do one each. We can have a think. Okay. See, mine would be it probably conservation with Andrew Tate. I'd, like I'd to love get to Andrew say, I'd love to I'd dive love to have deep into actually certain things that I'm yeah. actually want to question and stuff because I think I think eighty percent of what he says is good, but then twenty percent I'm like, lad, why do you think yeah. that? That, that makes the worst sense. possible answer you could give. That you know, no, it is. Stop trying to follow the ten, Danny lad. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm, no, not, I'm not. Andrew Tate's an interesting person. Oh, he's interesting, but. Like, I, I, like we've said before, I've said before. Don't think he's a person. Uh, to be honest, the vast majority of what he says, whether he means it or not, or he's just saying it for views, he says some dangerous things. But when he's speaking about like business, health, and yeah, motivation, no, yeah, yeah. All he's that. spot on. But yeah. when he speaks yeah, yeah. about social issues, it's like. I'd like to dive in deep on them things though, because I think he, I, I think he said I think personally he does say for the marketing thing, but then I, I want to find out if he says it like, do you actually think that? Though? People say that though about him. Yeah, People it's understanding. It's understanding his mindset. Yeah. Yeah. I just what want to understand on him. podcast what he is in, in real life is two different people. Yeah. It probably is, lad. But anyway, Steve-O. Steve-O, oh. yeah, Steve-O is my favorite yeah. dude ever. You know, I love him. Did you see him do that video with um, Gordon Ramsay? Because he's brought his own hot sauce out, hasn't he? Has he, yeah? So he's, 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 oh, so yeah, Steve-O's yeah. got his own hot sauce brand now, and they were making, like, omelettes together or something, and then, like, 
Gordon was trying his hot sauce. I was like, that's fucking hot. That in it. Steve goes, yeah, watch this. And she's pausing in his eyebrow. <laughs> and she starts crying. <laughs> I love him, yeah. He's mad, isn't he? He's nuts, like. Yeah, do you know, sh- oh, go on. Dream, G, I know. I always ask the question, do you never return them at me? You don't want to feel. I know, I've just, that's why I've just got you involved. Go Thanks, on, Matt. go on. Um, Pierce Morgan. I, I. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> I'd probably have to add, but one of them, one of them for me would be Theo Vaughn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I he's would so love him. Because you just never know what he's going to say. Yeah, yeah. I think he's smarter than, than what he comes across. So yeah. I think he it's knows what he's doing. Yeah, like yeah, this, yeah, I seen this clip the other day about his cousin. He goes, my, um, my cousin got bit by a gay guy once. And then he just <laughs> pauses and everyone's looking at him. He goes, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and then just leaves right, it at that. Brilliant, he? Uh, who else? Who, 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 who oh, you, have you seen the bit when he's, he's talking about it? He goes, he goes, would you like to be blind or deaf? He goes, well, we had a deaf kid on the street, right? And he used to come up doing sign language and stuff. And people just thought he was Shit doing magic. magic. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking boss. I, I seen the one as well when he was talking about it. He goes, eh. I, I used to hang around with this fat boy, right? He had big titties, and I used to get so hard for his titties. He said I used to watch him get changed, and I just go like that so I could just see the titties. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking bad. Who else be yourself today? Um, mm. alive, or alive or dead? Obviously, got to be alive. Obviously. Ooh, Ooh, conversation. Yeah, yeah, let's do, I'd love let's, to be alive. do let's do alive. I'd love, and then we'll go back around and we'll do uh, that. I'd love George Harrison from the Beatles. Yeah, I just think he'd have well. mad stories, yeah, but he might well. be boring. Yeah. Um, ooh, who else? Um, I'd go Pierce Morgan. I would. I, I, listen, Pierce Morgan, it's just the sum of the shit he comes out with. I go Mike Tyson. Sometimes he just makes me laugh. I go Mike Tyson, me. Mike I Tyson. He's such yeah. an interesting person now. Harvey Weinstein. Especially, like, come, come on from all these <laughs> No, I'm only saying Harvey Weinstein, you know, because it's just come up saying Jimmy he's just been in jail for another Fred 16 West. years. Fred West, Fred West, Defo. He's dead now, isn't he, Fred West? Yeah, yeah so yeah. he said a lot of all dead, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Fred West. I'd probably have to... Do you know what? Just because he's my favourite comedian ever, I'd have to say Bill Burr. Yeah, Bill Burr. Bill Burr. I just yeah, love to just pick his brain on comedy and and and, and, and like just hear how hear how he personally like. Do you know what? what? Even just watching Burr. There's a collective. There's a collective. There's a collection of American comics that I'd fucking love to get on the card. I'd say the ones I'd love to get on out of all the American comedians. I'd say Bill Burr, Tom Segura, Burr Kreisner. Yeah, yeah, he's incredible. Hilarious. Uh, we nearly had him on, didn't we? So close. He just read them blank that day. Joe Rogan, not just because he's a comedian, but because yeah, I, I was saying this the year before, yeah. he's, he's such an interesting, interesting fellow. Whether you agree with the things yeah. he says or not, or you think he's a knobhead, you yeah. can't deny that he's interesting. He's interesting. I'd yeah. love, yeah. So that Joe Rogan's only like one inch taller than me, or two inches taller than me. That is crazy. I swear that. Is he, yeah? yeah he's he's only short, yeah. you know, he's, he's like five, seven, five, eight. I'd love Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. Yeah, oh, he's fucking brilliant. But together, um, is it fucking Bobby Lee and, um, and Andy Santino? Oh, I made the pair of them. I like that like Mark Norman. That he? clip. Mark Norman's hilarious. He's one of the fun. Do you know what he said to He's Bobby so Lee? He's so good. Because uh, Brendan Schwab was trying to um, shag Bobby Lee's missus, weren't he? And Bick. Is like, Andrew oh, yeah, Schultz yeah, yeah, the one yeah. who's. And he goes, I'm Bobby Mada. No, that's no, Andrew that's Santino. Andy Santino. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the bug guy who goes, I'm Bobby Mada. But he's like, you're a little cross eyed mom. There's one where the three of them are on the podcast, is there? No, so there's one where, like, Bear Kleisner does a show. It's basically a podcast. Oh, when he takes him to he the get, cabin. He gets his, no, he, no, that's a show on that's Netflix. It. But he gets it. He gets a couple of his mates in the kitchen with him. He's like, I'm going to cook his this today. And while he's cooking, do you just chat shit? Yeah. And um, and he had Mark Norman and Bobby Leon and fucking Brendan Schwab had been trying to fucking he'd been trying to fuck Bobby Lee's missus because Bobby Lee. He's an ugly fella, but his beard is unbelievable. Yeah, I know, I know, I've seen her. And then um, she's not—he's not—they're not together I, I, no I, I, more, are they? Well, she's open for, for she's on the market. <laughs> um, and then and then fucking um, Bear Kreis says to him, he's like, he's like, have you done Rogan like his podcast? And he's like, no, I have I haven't done it for like twelve years. And then fucking Mark Norman goes, Schwab, get, Schwab could get you in. <laughs> 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 I love him, man. That's fucking deep. He's man. just dead off the cuff with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hilarious. Right, who we saying, Dad? Michael Jackson for me, understand? Michael Jackson, yeah. yeah. Like, the queen. Yeah, thing, Michael Jackson, so, the queen. He was so famous in like an era where there was no social media. Like I'm like, yeah. how did he perceive life? Do you, do you know when he's just walking out his house and like Sh- he doesn't know about all these millions of people because it's not like likes and stuff. But he just goes outside to his balcony. And there's like a million people there, and he's like, oh, like why is there a million yeah. people outside me, kid? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I think, yeah. Dead, I'd, just, like, I'd say Freddie Mercury. Freddie I was Mercury. literally about to say fucking Queen. Freddie Mercury would be fucking hilarious. 
I'd love to have someone on, and I'm like, I'm not even trying to take the piss like a Hitler or something. Yeah, because yeah. well, I'm just sitting down with like, like Stalin. Listen, or you can't. I, how, how, how fascinating. Not really a Hitler. Like, I, uh, <laughs> how fa- like the opposite of a Hitler. He just fascinates <laughs> me to death. Like, I've, like all of the documentaries on him and everything I've watched. Like, because he just fascinates yeah. me that much. Like, why would you? Then the people around that? him like feed him with drugs and stuff just to keep. Yeah, him like, did you see the videos of the Olympics? He's like, at the Olympics. Yeah, I've seen a video today of um Diego Maradona scoring a penalty and then taking a fucking line. So fans run down the pitch with fucking loads of cocaine on the back of his hand. The guy's like, and Maradona goes, yeah, and carries on. See the one when he was a manager and we had the all hidden from the camera. See ya. So when he was managing before he died. Um, he's, oh, on, he's on he's on the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the bench and like this fella comes up to him and like opens like this little fucking tray with loads of fucking bugle on it and all the coaches realise that the cameras are on them. So they all just get up and start watching the match like that. <laughs> and they just like hands and Maradona there snorting and they're all like all of them together all like that. I love how they all back the boy though, you know, yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's like being in Glasgow in it, everyone yeah, just forms yeah, the circle. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, yeah. It's like when fucking Christine Erickson died and they all got around them on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how heavy that was? I cried. Nah, I cried. I was watching it. I get emotional. Nah, it was heavy when you watched it back. Like, it was Do you know what heavy. video used to send me scatty? I was, I was a bit of a twisted kid. Me, so I, I used to I used to like oh, search on YouTube like like athletes dying mid like, whatever. I used to whatever. search that up. Do you ever remember the Angel of Death? Angel of Death. Like, that, 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 and that, and that, that, the kids like going mad. Fucking tired of me. You know, you see that guy. He gets kicked in the head. He's going back. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, I have seen it. Scatty. Like I used to. I used to have my kids. I don't know. I don't know if he died or not. Like, but he fucking shot. That's why he used to spook me because they always used to say. Like people said like he died off that kick and that's why he's doing all of my backflips and that. Uh, oh, scatty. You ever scatty. seen you ever it seen like the, the football match in like fucking South Africa or whatever and like four players on the pitch get struck by lightning? Fuck seen off. it in the middle of the game and it just goes <laughs> like four on the deck like that. Would that kill you though? Yeah. But did, did, yeah, you can survive lightning strikes. Remember that kid in Manchester or something got struck by lightning? The little do you know kid. That, do you know that Angel of Death fella? So he didn't actually die. He scored. He, he played in the game two games later and scored two goals. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's a nice thing. Never died. Yeah. So what was that? Was that? Was that so, so why was he having doing pure backflips then? Is that like trying to get the fella sent off? Probably. He just he was just trying to get a new FIFA celebration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting the gritty. Nah, trying to get the fella sent off probably. Next people do yeah, have some rolling. Don't look at him. Doing backflips. What's your what's your? So watch this, footy match. Look, fucking like four of them on the deck, lad, just being fucking it. Yeah, but where did the... Play it in. Yeah, I don't know. Bang, we feed them, innit? So, like, it just... The camera's on there, but when you turn round, there's just, like, three players all on the deck have been hit by the lightning. Oh, my God. What's the name? And what, did they die? I reckon, oh, I, I think could, being... Couldn't have chose worse music to play over like that. Oh, no, I, I think being struck by lightning would be the coolest way to die. Well, have you seen the people who survived the lightning strikes and they end up with them groovy, fucking look, tattoo-y looking things all down the body? Like the, have you not seen it? No. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what I mean? Yeah. No? yeah. Look, have, you ever, have you ever seen when like they get a piece of wood and they like put electric current through it and it burns the wood? Yeah. yeah. That's what people yeah. skin like, look like. It goes all down like you like. Bane. So you look like Deadpool without the, without the mask on? No, yeah. Bad, or like, like the Bane. fucking fell off Batman. What's his name? Two Bane, Bane is it? Or whatever. Bane. Yeah, Bane. No, Bane when he injects the thing. Yeah. All green Bane. Bane. The yeah. original yeah. Bane. Yeah. Well, I, I think being struck by lightning would be the coolest way to die. Or in like a mass... How many people have died off getting struck by lightning? I'll ask. I don't know that fact. I... I that's good, I don't know. Well, that's shit. Is that real? Yeah. Put the couldn't, that be, couldn't that be um, to do with like the fact that we've got electric cells in us? So like when that lightning hits us, something happens. Well, that's and them electric shit. cells. Let's see, it's mad, isn't it? Let's see that, that picture. Looks like the tree of life. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Well, that's... Right. Uh, do you know if you... Do you know if, it, do you know if lightning struck and you jumped? Would you still die? No, no could, maybe because you're not connected to the floor, so like it's not for the lightning to, to ground you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if, so if you jumped as lightning struck and, and everyone, I feel like you just everyone collapses it. around you and you hit the floor and you're like, <laughs> yeah. have you ever seen the video? Yeah. There's, a, there's, maybe, a yeah. bay, as, there's a lad that's buried on like this like a cliff edge, like by the sea. Look at that one. And that's sick. And then the looks like Henna. The, 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 I don't know whether it's, <laughs> don't know whether it's <laughs> the lad or his girlfriend. They walk out towards the edge, like where the water is, mm. and as they go in there, lightning goes. And land right Oh my yeah. god, boy, bro! Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, boy, what the fuck? Oh my god, it just doesn't go, oh my god, boy, no, I'm still so alone! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. Sounds, like, you know yeah, sounds like it's where I did it either. I honestly think I'll like stay near the people who must be the most easy going people in the ah, world. Yeah, yeah, you, chill, yeah. What's this? Uh, you estimated US population as of 2019. Um, 
27 people reported dead through strike and lightning strikes, oh. and 243 people struck by lightning. Oh, so no, that's you're quite a lot. You've got like over a 10% chance, 10, yeah. and over 90% chance of surviving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, so it's not that deep that I almost just hit like a motherfucker. Listen, I had roll the dice on that. I don't know what that figure was because now this one's saying. Um, there are about 240,000 lightning strike incidents around the world each year, which about 2,000 people are killed annually worldwide by US, lightning. Though, I'd, take a light, I'd take my chances with the lightning strike to get Watch the cool skin thing. Is, yeah. there, is, there like, is there things you can do to, to bigger your chances of getting struck by lightning, or is it just walk around with a fucking pole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, to be fair, just walk around with a fucking... Go fishing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you walk around with a fucking like, I don't know, a fucking lamp or something, I don't know. <laughs> would it, would that, 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 like the, it's 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 just concentrated electricity and electricity needs something that it can conduct through as opposed yeah. to being what's the other way if, it, if it's not a conductor it's a resistor resistor yeah. so, so something like that so it needs something that it can travel through so that's why like like it, it wants it, to get home to the ground yeah, doesn't it? so yeah. yeah exactly that's what do, do you reckon if you're in a in a car that's the safest place to be during the lightning strike because it'll hit the car because the tires have got rubber on it won't be able to conduct all the way through and shock you yeah mm. it just so that I wonder that's what why that you have rubber soles like, and all that I wonder what that'd feel like though but like no one like it's just 80 Kyle <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like what yeah, would it be yeah. would it be I remember coming back from a gig in Manchester um, up by lightning. no remember James no it was just because we were like Manchester like, do you know the thing we were like she like could have died there like do you know remember James Bibby the little fucking creature Um. I was, yeah, I was, I was going back for him. He, he was, he was fucking. He, do you know what? Right, I'm gonna quote him. He was a fraud, by the way. He, his whole set was based around, oh, I'm on the toe, and then he comes to pick me up on time. He pulled up in a fucking brand new A class, and I was like, you lying cunt! <laughs> I actually am skin. <laughs> you know what I mean? And fucking, we were driving back anyway down the motorway. I'm sitting there for you because he's got an A class, and then. <laughs> like, do you know the way your car, it's called, like, what is it, like, aquaplaning or something, and oh, you go over, that. like, flat water on the motorway, and the wheels just stop turning, and it just slides over, and the car could spin. We're driving, and the car, it's this water, it's gone on 90, and the car went, whoosh, and just straightened back out, and I just burst out laughing, he's like, lad, that wasn't funny, I was like, yeah, but lad, it was, though, because imagine if that's how we died, lad. Yeah. Like, that would have been heavy. And what, so it was yeah. the car that saved them? Well, no, like, we were... You didn't get hit by lightning. Lad, no, no. Yeah. I mean, when it spun when out, you're when you're you the back into place. I don't know what it was. I don't know whether it was it my was, car does I, that all the time. It I know, lad. The yeah. most scary experience I've had with that. Right, I was going to Glasgow for the gig, heading up the fucking towards the lakes and that. Uh, kept getting diverted because by Carlisle it was flooded, so we had to fucking go through like all the fucking lakes and all that. Lad, it was heavy, and um, lad, fucking, I'm driving my bed, FaceTime me while I'm driving, so I had my phone in my phone holder. Talking to me, bed right. So I'm just watching the roads. torrential rain. You know where your window wipers are that fast, yeah. but it still can't wash yeah. the water off. It's just like that. <laughs> and as you get up by like Scotland, like, I think it's as you're approaching towards Edinburgh. There's a, the motorway goes through like the mountains. The motorway like dips into like a little valley for a minute and then goes back Is up. That by Snakes Pass, I think no, the Snakes Pass gloss up that way. Oh, I was wrong. Um, <laughs> but um, fucking, it was just like flooded. But I couldn't see a thing, right? Like that with the window wipers, and there was a lorry next to me, so I'm getting a spray off the lorry, the rain right, coming down, yeah, and I'm doing like I'm doing like fucking eighty five mile an hour to try and get past this lorry as my birds talking to me, and I just hit this puddle, right? And my car just starts to turn inside. There's the motorway at eighty five, right? This fucking lorry sprays at me, and I'm just going to my bed. I'm dead. I love you. I love you. I love you. And then my car just went fuck off, straightened up, right? And like the lorry was just like in my mirror there, and I was just like, lad, I could have been on that lorry, I could have been yeah. dead. Like, you no, know, Fast and the Furious, yeah. with the triangle on the lorry, like that. Yeah. Oh, that was me, lad, the force, I was brown does, bread. Does every car do that? Well, my, I didn't know that my car my, would do it's that. The, it's, the, it's the power steering in the car, and it, it, it's, like, it's, my car. You know, it's your friction, your tyres uh, have friction on the road to keep yeah. you grounded. If a lubricant <laughs> comes in between that friction and breaks that force, yeah. You've got no grip, no traction. You just go then fucking egg. So every car straightens itself out. It doesn't know. It can no, just spin no. out and die. Oh, okay. It's just because it didn't straighten itself out because my car's good. It's just it turned, and then I was fortunate that the next like fucking puddle it just fucking cracked oh, it. Oh, okay. could have spun okay. out. It could have flipped. But I my, thought it was that my, thing that Danny was saying. No, my car's weird. So do you know if I'm on the motorway and like say if I'm coming off a slip road, if I don't indicate, it thinks I'm swerving off the road and pushes me back into the middle of the road. 
That's yeah, it's that's weird. That's that must be like a new thing like now, isn't it? It's mad, lad. Yeah. But have you, have you, you've been in my car before when you felt it when I've been going yeah. like that and then it goes yeah. and push. You heard the noise, mate. Like, your car saved our life before, though. Remember when uh, we had Jamie Hutchinson on and we were coming oh, over yeah. the Corn Bridge? Oh, my God, do you remember yeah, that? Like, yeah, not, not, remember not, that? not Jamie Hutchinson, was the dickhead oh, that no, came Jamie, off Jamie, terribly. We were coming over. We were over the Coming over the Run Corn Bridge. And this fella, he was fucking. So this fella was up my ass. For ages, and, and I was like, lad, just yeah, go round me, bro. He pulled you know in front I mean? of us. Yeah. For, and it went like you were going slow either. And he's pulled in front of us, fuming, and been like, out the window when he's going past. And then he's got in front of us and slammed, slammed on. on lad. Slammed on, lad. Like, and hit the back of him. And his car, it was like the automatic sensors on the car, slammed the brakes on. Yeah. And we were all sitting in the car for like 10 seconds after going, I was mad, weren't it? I and would have like, oh, fucking I would have ch- 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 chased the cunt down like that. Well, I did, oh, and then man, I did, and then I remember Jamie was in the car. It was the first <laughs> time I ever met him, and I was, oh, Tommy, I know you little rat. And then I looked at Jamie, and he didn't know what to do. And I was like, no, just had to chill out. I was only messing with him. Now, do you know what the scariest thing I've seen on a motorway, though? I was going to with, with, with my dad, this was a few years ago, and like on the other side of the motorway, it was one of the big. What? Oh, <laughs> Bob, he was going to crash in there, he died if you didn't know. Um, yeah, we'll bring that up in a minute, all right, Bob? Um, and, and, <laughs> and, uh, and then, still here, stop milking it. Oh, yeah, I don't know, I'm not what's asked anymore. Um, and, then, and then fucking, there was a big, a big articulated lorry. That's what his mole is, it's tarmac in his arm. <laughs> Sorry, go on. And um, like, it had a blowout on two tyres on the same side and just went, so I was on the motorway and it like two cars and I was just like that was fucking horrible well, yeah, I'm yeah, sure I'm sure to god it was our Mark and it was mate Stuart in the car I think he had like a, um, I think it was like a little Peugeot fucking 306 or something like a 305 something a little shitty Peugeot right and they're driving down the motorway and there was a scaffolding scaffolding fucking truck on the motorway you know one of the big dirty buckles on the scaffolding just started to vibrating and come off this van at like 70 mile an hour, Whoa. flipped up around Mark's car and hit like the A-pillar. So you know oh, the bit of metal man. that holds your windscreen? Smash that lad the windscreen, sm- like shit, not come in, but cracked all the way down and like the A-pillar was just all dented but, in. Yeah. Auto and glass like, repair, <laughs> auto <laughs> glass replace. <laughs> Should've got a one call If that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If that comes through your windscreen, you Well, listen, man. I was driving to work one morning when I used to wake up in Runcorn and... Um, I was, it was like six o'clock in the morning, fucking tired, because I was one of them. I used to have like three, four hours kipping and get off of work, yeah. like fucking, you know what I mean? So I was in the car and I was like, one of them where you're driving, but like, when I, I, whenever I used to drive to work, I'd get to work and then I'd go, I'd forgot my old journey. And I'd go, how the fuck yeah, did I get yeah, here, lad? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was just driving, pure free flow. And uh, I'm driving on the motorway behind the lorry, just driving like that. I was only doing about 70, fucking, and the lorry in front of me drove over a pole. And I just drove over the pole, the pole flicked up, but a big long one, lad, you should have seen the front of my bonnet, it was a big massive, from like the bottom of the bonnet there, right the way up to the top, big massive pole, and you could see it, and I was thinking, do you know, if I was going a little bit slower, that would come through my windscreen, it would kill me, you know. I'll get a picture of it now, I'll show you the picture of it, lad. You seen the fella who got impaled by the pole in his car, and it's just like through his chest, sorry, dead quick, I think it was in Russia, because Russia's crazy, have you ever seen the video of the fella? who tried to commit suicide in his car with a shotgun. Have you seen it? No. Lad! I'll find the video, right? So, people turn up to this car, and it's like a little orange fucking Citroen or something, and, like, the windscreen's just full of blood, right? And they open the car door, and there's just blood everywhere, and there's a fella just going, ah! Right? And they put the camera on his face, and his face is just open. There's just hot air coming out of it, right? There's just blood everywhere. He's blew his face up with the shotgun, right? But it hasn't gone to his head. It hasn't gone to his brain, so his face is just oh. open. Mm. It just looks like Predator. And he's just screaming, crying, I'm gonna find yeah. it. You'd have to shoot him and put him... Fucking hell. Uh-huh. Nah. You'd have to shoot him there and put him out of his misery, you know? You couldn't let him go, because if that was me and I'd decide to kill myself, but just fucked me face up, I wouldn't want to be alive even more so than I did before the suicide attempt, because now my face is fucked, so I'm still alive, but I'm just hideous to look at. Yeah. Thanks for getting this far on the podcast. Now for a little word from our sponsor, Orange County CBD. <gasps> Put them on the screen now. <sighs> ah, here we go. Uh, Orange County CBD, use code HAPPEN10 at checkout, and you get 10% off all orders on all products, whether that be your CBD oils, you've got your jellies, you've got your vapes, which are a healthier alternative to the likes of your disposable vapes with the nicotine in. And now they're also doing a skincare range as well. So if you want gleaming skin like ours, 
Orange County CBD and use code HAPPEN10 in the checkout for 10% off all of your orders. We love you. And on that happy note, I think we're going to call it an episode. Yeah, we are. Just on, literally just on an hour. Thank you so much for watching. This has been episode 49.2. Uh, <laughs> it's not technically 50. We're gonna, we'll, we'll do something big next week. Okay. We'll do the episode 50 celebrations 50 next week. week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. Thank you for the support. Watch the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Peace.